Now, here comes the hard part. <laughs> Where was your V card? What? What was your V card taken? What up, folk? It's your boy, Flash. What's up, YouTube? So, today what we're gonna be doing is we're actually gonna be answering questions about our childhood and so forth and share with you, the viewers, so you guys can know exactly what we did while growing up as a kid. And we all have stories to tell and our stories is gonna be very well. I wanna start out by saying before we do this is that we love each and every one of you guys, and we ask, please watch these ads all the way through. Don't skip them. That's how Dash is actually going to actually get fed and go to the vet and get the necessary things that a great dog as itself deserve. As you can see from the video previous to this one, Dash is very well trained. Dash is very intelligent, and Dash knows how to do a lot than your average dog. He's very smart. That dog has an IQ of 210. Should it be cap or no cap? Nah, he really do. He's, he's very intelligent. Also, I want to mention that um, to new YouTubers out there, up and coming, it's a grind. Keep going. Don't stop. Stay consistent. And um, just be you. You know what I mean? So we're going to start this right now. And we'll get back in a minute to me giving you guys some final thoughts. So anyway, first question is, you have any childhood memories? Like, what was the funniest thing that you ever did while you were growing up as a child? I don't know. Like, it's a lot of funny stuff that I've done as a child. So, like, I was always more of a joker than, than anything. So it's just a lot. <laughs> No, you gotta pick one. What's the funniest thing that you ever did? Okay, the funniest thing I I ever did was um as a child, I don't know if you remember, um you would knock on somebody door and run. So it was like everybody was scared to do it, but I was the only one that done it at first. So then everybody just got used to doing this. So I was the first to knock on someone's door and run. So that was like to me the funniest thing I've done as a child. Gotcha. Funniest thing is for me as a child was I've always been doing acting since I was a little kid. And uh, the funniest thing ever is when I was actually a little kid, I had... Played a little joke on my mother. It was a prank. I've been pranking since I was well, like about four or five years old. And I pranked my mother and I had my brother and my cousin involved. And I was like laid out flat on the ground in the backyard. And I didn't move, didn't flinch, didn't laugh, didn't do anything. And I told him to go inside the uh, house and get my mother and tell her that I was actually dead. My mother came out side you know rest in peace to her and her anniversary date is coming up uh this month on the 24th rest in peace to my mom but the funniest thing was when she was like oh my goodness no my son That's no funny. no my That's son mean. to me it was funny you know you're a kid at the time that and you're just funny so she's like oh my son oh my son and she started crying and it was like at that point i was like i couldn't go on any longer but i busted up laughing Here's the thing that I deserve and I will not say that I didn't deserve it. You know what she did with me? 
took me inside the house, grabbed me by the hand, <laughs> and beat the living crap out of my behind. And she laughed because she already know this story, people. See? <laughs> so I got what I deserved. And never did I ever pull a prank like that on her again. I pulled many pranks. I used to have her chasing me around the house and stuff like that. So that's a lot of things that actually went on. Okay, so now I want to pass it back to Icy. You guys should know who I am by now. You guys are learning Icy. You know who Icy is as well. Um, let me see a question for you. What would you say is the best... What what age would you say was the best age that you actually lived? And you was like, hey, I enjoyed this. I wish I could go back to that time. We all have a thing where we go, I wish I was this age again. Um, the age that I would say that I wish I can go back to was like 16. Because like I had like a lot of fun memories when I was 16 as well. So I think 16. 16? Is there a reason why you would say 16? No, it was just like, I guess, more of the the peers that I had at 16 in the street that I stayed on at 16. So it was like, it was exciting. Hmm. So I would go back to if I was 16. Hmm. Interesting, interesting, interesting. Yeah, so me... I would have to say 18. 18 years old was the uh, best part of my life. I got to say that uh, I've been actually grinding since I was actually like 16. But 18 was the best part of my life because that's when I moved out the house. But other than that, I'm not going to get off into what I hated about being 18. But it was more good than bad eliminating one thing that I will not share right now, but I will say the happiest time in my life was at 18 years old. And if I could turn back the time, I would go back to 18 years old because it was the best. Um, it just was popping, man. Music, everything. You know what I mean? Just popping. Let me ask her another question here. Let me see. What would you say influence you to do YouTube and how did it feel the first time that you actually did YouTube? I mean, I'm used to actually talking to people and stuff, so. Um, just what influenced me to do, to do YouTube, I would say, um, um, there's like several people. So like, it's, it's just hard because like, um, it's several people. So, do I have to pick one one person? No, nah, you could just say a YouTuber or a person or whatever. Because we're not so doing do no I, promotion right now. Do I right have now. to say name? No, you don't have to say name. We're not going to promote just them. Just a few certain YouTubers, like, influence me. I would leave it at that. Okay, cool, cool, cool. With me, nobody really influenced me too much, you guys. I've been doing... I've been behind a camera and in front of a camera since I was a little kid, believe it or not. So I'm used to this type of stuff. I don't freeze up in front of the camera, behind the camera, and icy. I'm not gonna lie, when we first started, she was shy. She didn't want to get on the camera. She didn't want to speak. And look how good she's became. I mean, look at what she did with Dash yesterday. You know, that was amazing. I mean, she did it perfect. And I mean, who would have thought of something like that? And I'm gonna give credit where credit is due. That was totally her whole idea to do that. That was not mine's. And I give it to her. I give it to her. She was sitting and she was thinking to herself. She said, I got something good nobody ever did before. I don't think they ever put their dog in the toilet and stuff like that. And it was so cute. And the dog and her just swapped sides. If you guys haven't seen that, you guys go back one video and you'll see it. And by the way, I want to explain YouTube to you guys. Some of you don't understand it. So if you're looking at a video of ours, you can actually hit the subscribe button and the notification bell right next to it. Because what happens is every time we're doing a new upload, you want to be the first to see it, right? So how you're going to do this is you're going to actually hit the notification bell, hit subscribe. When you hit it, it's going to light up blue. Hit the bell so you know, and it'll come right on your phone. The Flash family has uploaded a new video and you guys will be ready to see it. 
or see it later or whenever you have time. And what I wanted to say is you can go to our channel by clicking on the little circular looking Avi. It's called Avi, which has my picture on it. And you'll click on that. It'll take you to the main channel, which is the whole page of all the videos that we ever did or anything. And you'll click on videos or upload, depending on the device that you use. But I know usually it's videos on like the iPhone. It'll say videos. You'll click videos from the subcategory at the top and you'll see in order where it says uploads you want to look for uploads on the iphone and you're going to scroll across our videos and you're going to see them in order of how we exactly did them so like this one you should see it first and then the other one second in sequential order so what else did i want to ask here um so yeah to, to answer that question i've been doing this for a very long time and um did anybody really influence me to do it? No, it was just something that somebody suggested to me before and I didn't actually take part in it, but finally I decided to go on ahead and do it. And I thank you guys very much for the good feedback and saying that we're very entertaining and we love you guys and we allow you guys to have prizes. And I want you guys to know something. If you see me or Icy in the streets and you see us together or alone or whatever, you guys can walk up to us and you guys can ask for autograph, you can ask for pictures, you can ask for video. We're not mean people. We're very great people and I promise you that. It's not like I'm going to bite you. It's not like I'm going to fight you. It's not like I'm going to come up to you and be like, no man, no man, I'm not giving you, I'm not arrogant. You know what I'm saying? She's not arrogant. We're very good people and it's not like you're going to actually get clowned or turned down for asking for autograph. You know what I mean? That's just how we are as people. Oh yeah, no, uh, I will always be willing to take pictures or anything. Uh, you know, it. they can just always ask. Yeah, of course. Here you guys go. And also, now here comes the hard part. <laughs> when was your V card? What? When was your V card taken? My V card was taken <laughs> And I'm proud of myself. <clears throat> My V car was actually taken at 18 years old. What was yours? Well, I was V car. I was 18. 18 years old, lost my. Never mind. <laughs> <laughs> but anyway, uh, let me keep moving here. So, yeah, we love you, the fans. We appreciate all the support. We're going to start calling out names of everybody that's supporting. We want to thank. Shannon, we want to thank Felicia, we want to thank Lisa, we appreciate you guys, and there's a bunch of you other people out there that we see. We're going to call names as we take videos and, and see what's going on here, but we really appreciate you guys. We hope you guys been enjoying the bangers, um, things that's never been done before. Soon I'm going to leave these comments open, but I've been disabling it because it's too much buffoonery going on people booty tickle in the comments people don't know how to act people troll too much it's sad i'm not gonna say no names as some of my celebrity mates and some of my fellow youtubers get lied upon and people say stuff like oh this person was with this person and they have and to this turn person off their comments as well right and they have to turn a off their of comments as well are turning off their and comments. a lot of us youtubers are turning off our comments for a reason you know what I mean? People need to learn how to act. Yes, you have a First Amendment, but we also have the power to turn off the comments. So, act right, turn it back on. And the comments that sometimes they say, it's like they act like that's going to stop people from posting videos or, or doing videos. It's just going to motivate people more. And it's like you're giving us views, so not only... Not only you're a hater, you're you're just a supporter. You're a supporter because you're taking your time to continue watching the videos just to give your opinion. So, thank you. Thank you. Well said, and I agree with her. So, me, we got to close this out. You never want to make a video to you YouTubers out there, the new ones, no longer than about 10 to 15 minutes because you start boring an audience you want to cut them short and that's what we do and we're getting ready to wrap this up because i see we're approaching the 15 minute mark here probably even going towards 17 or 18 minutes and don't judge me because i'm not shaving don't judge the long intro 
I put the long intro for a reason so you can see me on the red carpet, you can see Icy, you can see me rapping, you can see everything that we do. NASCAR driver, blah, 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 the whole works. Hope you guys been enjoying it. You got to remember there's new subscribers that's always watching and we want them to see this stuff. Red carpet style, wire image, all that stuff. You know what I mean? So in the meantime, I want to say we love you guys and uh, thank you very much for spending time with us. And I hope that you guys actually enjoy that. And we got one bonus. Who is your favorite dog? My favorite dog was uh, Benny. Rest in peace to Benny. Oh my He God. was a good dog. But I will say currently, out of all dogs, who is the best at doing tricks? Dash Dash. Dash is ready to actually get in some commercials and <laughs> some acting. I'm not going to lie. That dog is very smart. More than you guys think. I'm starting to wonder if that dog is actually human. Dash. Mm -hmm. Well, like you said, Benny, and I really miss him. But like right now, Dash, and he catch on the things real fast. So. I'll have to say Dash. So, on the playback, I know the light is probably going to get in the way. So, with that being said, we want to thank you guys for tuning in. We love each and every one of you guys. And don't be mad because you can't be me, folk. folk. Why does she keep doing that? <laughs> we got to get her own tagline. <laughs> don't get mad because you can't be me, people, or something else. <laughs> yeah, something like that. Next one, catch you guys. You guys get ready for some exciting stuff. And don't think that these videos are not bangers. They're all bangers. We're teaching you guys and learning you guys know about us. And right now I'm holding a camera that you wouldn't suspect that you can change out a UV filter and all that. I actually got mines on my camera right now and I'll give you a hint. It's a camera us as all YouTubers use, but mines is protected because I'm using a special ring that's glued to the actual round part that extends out and then it has like another part that attaches to it and you can screw on a filter on there to prevent dust or water or anything from coming inside and damaging the main lens. So maybe I'll show you guys that if I see a high request of that. Get this video to about, mm, I'll give you guys a, a small break, a thousand likes. I'll show you guys what to do on it. Anyway. Next one, deuces, peace. Nice pungood. There go her tagline. <laughs> peace. I am the great for having the character to throw with him and oh.